Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna take some time to talk about Cusco because if you visit Peru, you most definitely will come to Cusco. So in today's video, we're gonna show you what it's like in Cusco. probably come to Cusco uh, before traveling to different places in Peru is because it's a hub for getting to a lot of famous areas. For example, Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu is probably the most popular thing that you can do in Peru and you have to come to Cusco to be able to take the train to Machu Picchu. Also things like Rainbow Mountain, there's tons of really popular lakes and just tons of very popular hikes that you have to start off in Cusco. It's also very, very popular to go from Cusco into La Paz, Bolivia. So a lot of people will make this their last stop in Peru. If you do come to Peru, you'll probably end up spending a couple days in Cusco because you do need to adjust to the altitude before continuing to any hikes. It could take about three to five days depending on the person. The altitude sickness will affect everyone a little bit differently. So other than the activities, tours, and treks, what is there to do in Cusco? Well, there's actually a lot. There is always a new restaurant to try, and there are shops all over the place to go shopping and buy souvenirs. There are tons of free walking tours that you can do around the city center. There's also tons of museums that you can visit, as well as bus tours to go sightseeing in and around the city of Cusco. You can also go and get a really cheap tattoo. That's actually what Charlotte and I did one day. Charlotte and I are just getting some empanadas. We thought it would be a good time to talk about the food here in Cusco. So in Cusco, there are tons of different food options, ranging from super cheap local food uh, to more expensive foreign food. There's even McDonald's and Starbucks and all those different options that you'd be familiar with as well. We tend to stick to eating the local food as much as possible. It does tend to be fairly cheaper than eating more Western meals. A cheaper local dish will go from 350 sol up to 7 sol whereas a more familiar Western dish could go from 20 sol all the way up to 50 sol. So if you come to Cusco, don't worry about food. So other than what we've already covered, we decided we're gonna go over some common questions that we had about Cusco and that you might have if you're thinking of visiting Cusco. Firstly, the people. What are the people like? Are the people nice? Or are they rude? Overall, I would say the people are pretty nice here. The first day we got here, I forgot my phone in the taxi and this one local guy, I told him and he sprinted after the taxi, got my phone and brought it back to me because I had my huge backpack on so I couldn't go after it. So they are just genuinely really nice people here. But when you're walking down the street, you can't go 30 seconds without someone asking you to buy something, asking you to come to the restaurant, asking you to take a picture with their alpaca. Obviously they're doing this because it's how they make a living, but it can get a little annoying. Another thing that we were wondering before coming to Cusco was what was the weather going to be like? So during the day, it does get fairly hot with the sun, 15 to 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, however, at night it gets pretty chilly. At night it'll drop down to about 0 to 5 degrees. During the day people will be wearing shorts and a t-shirt, but some people are wearing full winter jackets. So it really just depends what clothing you're most comfortable with. I just recommend to bring layers. That way if the sun comes out during the day you can easily take off your sweater and then put it back on at night. Yeah. Another thing we were wondering was how were accommodations going to be like? Well, in Cusco you can find accommodations all over the city. Anywhere from dorm rooms that are $6 a night all the way up to private rooms that are a hundred dollars a night. Charlotte and I are staying in a place called Cozy Warmy just outside the center. It's a private room that goes for $12 a night and we have a shared bathroom and kitchen. 
The last question that we had was regarding the safety in Cusco. I can say that I've genuinely felt very safe being in Cusco. A couple nights ago, Zach wasn't feeling too well, so I went out and got our dinner and brought it back to the hotel, and I didn't feel unsafe at all. Obviously, you do need to be cautious, mostly of pickpocketers, especially in the city center. That's the same for most places around the world, and especially in South America. But overall, I haven't felt any safety concerns in Cusco. Yeah. If you guys have any other questions about Cusco or anything in general, feel free to leave a comment down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys got a good idea of what Cusco is like. If you guys have any questions, again, feel free to leave a comment down below. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.